This Ali Reza game is absolutely brutal and I can just imagine Eric Hansen raging at the final position when he missed the move towards the end here. So this was played four years ago on chess.com in June 2018. So Ali Reza was just 14 years old when this was played. Quite incredible really, the standard he was already at at that age. So he kicked off here with pawn to e4. This is online blitz by the way. Now pawn c5 from Eric. Knight to f3, pawn d6, and we go in for this open Sicilian here, and we quickly head down the Nidorf variation, characterized by this pawn coming to a6, which is what Hansen plays. So bishop to g5 from Ali Reza, one of the main lines here, and you can go for the kind of poison pawn stuff with pawn e6, queen b6, pressuring here, tons of theory here, very, very theoretical Nidorf position, but instead Eric goes for knight b to d7, playing a bit more solidly here, supporting the other knight. We now had bishop c4. Ali Reza gets on with that aggressive development, looking down towards the king. Pawn c6 from Eric, puts the question to the bishop. It dropped back to h4 here. Ali Reza wants to preserve his bishop pair at this stage. And now the queen does come to b6 pressures the b2 pawn, but Ali Reza actually just castles, ignores that one, because if black takes, then actually knight d5 here is a very strong move. You threaten to go to c7, checking king and rook there, so black's forced to capture, the bishop recaptures, and black just has a ton of development issues here. You can technically play like this, but you have to be so careful. Now g6 is the best way to develop, preparing bishop g7. Say you went e6, a standard looking development move, well now you can actually crash through. If that one's taken, then this is actually mate, using the power of these two, pawn g6, queen takes, that's mate. So it just gives a flavor of the danger in the position here, why you can't just go pawn grabbing as black, unless you're really well prepared, know what you're doing. So Eric just goes e6, solid development here, rook e1 from Ali Reza, bishop e7, and now he drops this bishop back to b3, tucks it away, covers the pawn because possibly black will take in some lines as they're starting to get developed. And now castles from black, and here Ali Reza goes king h1. He wants to tuck the king off of that diagonal with the queen, prepare to move the f pawn later on, although this pawn is now a tactical liability as we'll see here, because after knight c5 from Eric, good move, targeting that bishop, here Ali Reza actually makes a mistake. So he should go queen to e2 here, just covering this f2 pawn, coming away from the fork there between queen and king. What he does here is pawn to f3, adding some protection here, but this actually runs straight into a tactical shot, which Eric missed on this move, but he saw the idea a move later. So if he'd have played knight f takes on e4 here, this is very strong because you want to take the bishop on e7, that's a free piece, but then you're running into this check on f2, that's the big problem. So because you have to cover against this checking threat, let's say you take that knight, well now black can take the bishop here, you're hitting the rook, black's just winning this position basically, white's a bit busted. So this wasn't the way to go, what Ali Reza did, but Eric missed it, this is blitz chess of course, instead he took on b3, picks up the bishop pair, and now he goes knight to g4. Very similar idea, take my bishop please, then I'll fork your queen and king, but now Ali Reza can actually drop that bishop back. This is the difference between the variations. So the knight is now attacked by the pawn, it hops back into e5 here, and now Ali Reza drops to f2 here. He couldn't do that before with the knight on g4. So from f2, he's eyeing this queen, so it jumps away here to c7, and now pawn f4, Ali Reza gets aggressive, he gets those pawns rolling, he wants to attack the black king, so typical of his style of course. So the knight drops back to c6, and now pawn f5, no time wasted, wanting to break down that position, and Eric just calmly goes bishop to d7, good move. If you start capturing here for example, well actually after you open the f-file, 
Black is first to the punch, already hitting your bishop. Black should be okay here. Nice solid central pawn mass, bishop pair. So you always have to be careful with these white attacks. If you don't break through, the end games are usually good for black with the central pawns and the bishop pair. So after bishop e3 here from Ali Reza, which is what was played instead, eyeing the king, opening the f file, then Eric went bishop to f6, adding some defense, looking some more at this weakened d5 square, Ali Reza went queen d2, more firepower in the attack, connecting the rooks, and now knight e5, using that weakened square, maybe jumping into g4 one day, so h3 is a very natural move from Ali Reza, and now Eric tries to get some counterplay going here. He pushes pawn b5, getting that queenside minority of pawns going, trying to drum something up. So the rook came to f1, more attacking intent. Pawn b4 kicked the knight. It dropped back into e2. And now the best move for black here actually looks kind of counterintuitive. This is a wonderful knight on a wonderful outpost there, but dropping it back to c6 is actually very powerful. I mean, say Ali Reza went knight g3, which is the move he played in the game, well, black can actually start liquidating pieces here. For example, something like this. Then you can go bishop b5, hit this rook. Let's say it went to f3, looks very natural. Well, now you can go queen c5, prepare to exchange queens. If white tries to duck it, then queen e5. And black's actually fine here. You've exchanged a couple of attacking pieces. You've activated your pieces as well. So this was really the way to go, but knight c6 isn't so easy to see. This isn't classical chess, this is blitz chess. So Eric went pawn a5 instead, carrying on with that plan, but now knight g3 from Ali Reza, and this is suddenly getting dangerous. The knight's coming to h5. Again, knight c6 would be best here, but Eric goes queen d8, preparing to meet knight h5, because at least now he adds some protection to the bishop here. So bishop g5 now from Eric, he comes away from the knight, but a great move from Ali Reza, really understanding the initiative and the attacking moves against the king. He goes pawn to f6, trying to shatter the structure. Eric takes on e3 here. He doesn't want to start capturing on f6, opening up lines. So the queen recaptures, and now he goes pawn g5. Looks horrible here, but it is the best move to try and keep some lines closed. So knight f3 now from Ali Reza. He wants to sack on g5, then deliver mate here. So that one was captured. The rook took back. And now Eric went rook to c8. His whole plan here is to lift the rook, defend the g5 pawn. So after rook g3, we saw that defensive maneuver. And now h4 was already a good move from Ali Reza, breaking down the structure. This is a very tough position for black now. Ali Reza comes up with something even more beautiful here. So he goes rook d1 to start with, pressuring this pawn. Bishop c6 was played, opens the queen's defense, activates the bishop. And now Ali Reza comes up with an absolutely stunning move. Can you find the move here? And if you're enjoying this video, do hit that like button, let me know, and consider subscribing to the channel to never miss a future video. So the move that Ali Reza finds is the phenomenal rook to d5. And it really reminds me of Kasparov's Immortal against Veselin Topolov in 1999, I think it was, Vikanze, where he slams down this rook takes on d4 that was. It wasn't a d5 move, but similar idea, giving a whole rook to rip open an attack towards the king. Now that king was on the queen side, but okay, similar stuff. Now what's the whole idea? Well you want to crash through on g5, then deliver mate, this kind of thing here. So when you put the rook there, if pawn takes, then you're crashing through. Check, if the king comes here, well then we actually check here. This one, we lead to mate like this. So that one would have to be captured, then the queen comes in, this is mate. This is the whole basic problem. So you can't capture that rook. You get similar problems if you take with the bishop. If you take with the rook here, well then pawn takes. You've still got issues here. If king h7, well then we win a piece. We're a minor piece up here. So all the tactics are working for white. Really great stuff from Ali Reza. So after rook d5 was played, we had king h7 from Eric stepping out of the way. But now we had takes on g5 with the other rook anyway. This is the awesome follow-up from Ali Reza. So that one was captured. 
the queen came in, threatening mate on g7, rook g8, only sensible move, and now here Ali Reza goes wrong. This is blitz, he couldn't find the way through. So he should go knight g7. Now you're threatening to go queen h5 mate. So one way to defend here, I mean really the only sensible way without giving up the queen, is to go rook to f8, so that if you go check, then the king has a square here, but you don't have to check. You can move the knight out of the way, let's say to e8. Now you're threatening mate with the queen, of course, and if you try and block that one now, well, we deliver mate here. If you capture that one, then okay, of course, we're delivering checkmate. None of it's working all over for black. So really beautiful ideas, but Ali Reza didn't find knight g7. Unfortunately, he played queen h4. Looks so natural using this discovered stuff, but now rook g6. The rook is swinging to the defense, or is it? Well, Ali Reza goes knight f4 check, and Eric just absolutely blunders here. You know, I imagine he would have seen this afterwards. Maybe then he'd be raging. If you've never seen his rage compilations on YouTube, by the way, you should check them out. They're really funny to watch. So here we had the discovered check, and you should just do this one, and it's game over for white. Say you go queen g4, well, the queen can take on f6. The attack's gone, your rook's still attacked. This is just winning for black. But Eric didn't block the check. He went king to g8, but now it's losing once again. Ali Reza took here, the pawn recaptured, and he went f7, discovered check on, well, not discovered check, check on the king, discovered attack on the queen, and this is just game over. Eric resigned here. So an absolute crush. If you want to see another one of Ali Reza's amazing blitz games, then click here for his immortal bullet queen sack against Daniel Naroditsky. Thanks for watching. See you soon.